Love sees not with the eyes, but with the mind. William Shakespeare. I got love for the game, but A, I ain't in love with all of it. T.I. Love, it's one of the greatest mysteries. And Brad from Berwick somewhat searches for it with his question, how do you make a girl like you? Is it even possible to make someone like you at all? Today, we shall find out. This is Elizabeth. She's a librarian, and I kind of like her. Elizabeth doesn't notice me, so I'm pretty sure she doesn't like me. I'm going to take the super romantic approach and smother her with praise and gifts. These are for you. I love you for the sweet way that you take care of books. I love you for your personality. I love you for your looks. I love you. Shh. Do you want to go out sometime? Um, I don't even know you. Clearly, not the most successful approach. So now, we shall try the opposite. A little technique that's often crudely referred to as treat them mean, keep them keen. Watch as I play this incredibly cool. Hi, can I help you? Spoke. Just the one book then? Yeah. Great, that's all done for you. Just be due back in two weeks. Whatever. So, um, would you like to go out sometime? Um, no. You're a jerk. <laughs> you see, Brad, it's not possible to make someone like you. Throughout your life, you'll meet many people who you like, and eventually you'll meet the right person who likes you for you. I just hope mine is someone as sweet, beautiful and interesting as Elizabeth. You know, when you're not acting like a loser, you're actually kind of a nice guy. Did you want to go grab a movie or something? Um, yeah, that would be great. I just have to finish up here first. Until next time, I'm Dexter Fry. I hope Cupid's arrow strikes you true.